So this is the current development status of my first Intel 4004 microcomputer board. I got a C4004 from Japan and one pin was broken so the collector's value was not very high anymore. However I decided to see if the chip is still working so I developed a board with one uh, 4002 RAM here here and the CPU here and uh, it's currently running a assembler program which can be seen here so what uh, so don't wonder about the syntax this is my own assembler which will compile the software so the syntax may differ a little from the manuals of Intel so what we see in the first line we are loading uh, the register pair RRR0 to um, set the RAM chip we, will, we are going to use the output port off so here we are loading the register pair RRR0 with the value 0 to select the first RAM chip in the system and then uh, we create four loops within each other to create a time delay so the outer three loops count from 0 to 255 uh, first we load the accumulator with a 1 we do this with the LDM1 instruction and then we save the accumulator into the register R15 Afterwards, we exchange the accumulator uh, with R14 with the value 0, then we load it with 0 again, exchange with R13, and that's the way we can set R14, R13, R12, and R11 to, to specific values. And uh, later, we can restore the accumulator again with the exchange uh, of R15, and then we use the WMP instruction to output the accumulator content to the output port of the RAM chip which was selected by this source instruction here and uh, the RAR does a rotation through the carry flag uh, to the right and uh, so this jump instruction is unconditional so uh, the program will continue here and what we will see, these uh, four lamps are the status of the output port of the 4002 RAM. So we can now see that the content of the output port is rotated to the right. And the reason why all four are zero um, is that we rotate the content through the carry flag. So when all four lamps are off, the content of the accumulator has been rotated into the carry flag. So the machine is working.